Good morning, Portland. Scattered showers once again and temperatures on the cool side. Mid One day really is a comprehensive look at the response to homelessness in Portland. Really gives people a look at a 24-hour period. People don't really have a good idea of the nuances of what this crisis actually looks like on like a day-to-day -day level. We wanted to take the chance to look at the homeless crisis in a different way. You know, journalistically, this is the biggest issue that our city confronts. Challenges that came of that is just, we had to be so flexible. So we had a big whiteboard we set out. We wanted to hear from service providers, fire and law enforcement, ER doctors. And our first stop was at a shelter uh, before the sun came up. Good morning, everybody. It's 5.50. Good morning. By 6 o'clock, I had to be out of here because I had to hurry up and go to work. I'm pregnant, I'm working, I'm clean. You know, I just want a nice, quiet place to sleep. But the reality is, is that every day is so different. We just captured one day. And then the same day that we plan to shoot this, Joe Biden decided to visit town. Air Force One is landing as we speak at PDX. And just a half mile as the crow flies from where that base is in one of the largest, most problematic homeless camps in Portland. We bring all these expensive, you know, cameras with beautiful, you know, like lenses and whatnot to get this beautiful shot. And in the end, you have to adjust on the fly and pull out your cell phone to get, what well, was probably one of the more memorable shots we had in the documentary. One of the most gratifying things was that several of the women we featured who were homeless ended up using this to secure housing. After appearing in the KGW documentary, One Day, Daria said someone helped pay her first and last month's rent. That's what she needed to get into an apartment. Tiana, who is the young mother with a child living in an RV. Yeah. After appearing in the documentary, Tiana said she heard from concerned family and friends, including a former employer at the Best Western. I think this really speaks to what we do at KGW. It's innovative storytelling. My bosses have given me the freedom to basically do great work. So I think people really reacted very positively to being able to see an aspect of the people dealing with this crisis that you can't just see when you drive by a tent on the street. When people band together to help each other, we could get a lot done in one day. One day I would take off and you will never see me homeless again.